The universe seems vast and complex, yet it maintains an exquisite balance between positive and negative charges. This means in the entire cosmos the amount of positive charge is essentially equal to the amount of negative charge. But why does this matter? Imagine a world where this wasn't the case. If the universe had more positive than negative charge, or vice versa, the consequences would be catastrophic. Electromagnetic forces, which are massively stronger than gravity, would dominate, completely altering the structure of everything from galaxies to atoms. Instead of a stable cosmos, we'd have a chaotic mess where nothing could form or survive as we know it. So, how does the universe maintain this charge neutrality? It all boils down to the very tiny protons and electrons. Protons found in the nucleus of an atom carry a positive charge. Electrons, which orbit the nucleus, carry a negative charge. The beauty of it? They are in perfect balance, not just in numbers, but in the magnitude of their charges. But the real question is, why this perfect balance? Some theories suggest that during the universe's infancy, particularly right after the Big Bang, equal amounts of matter and antimatter were created. For every particle carrying a charge, there was an antiparticle carrying the opposite charge. When matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate, leaving behind a balanced, charge-neutral universe. This balance isn't just a happy accident, it reflects a fundamental symmetry in the laws of physics, a concept known as charge conservation. This principle states that the total charge in an isolated system, like our universe, remains constant. It's a rule that seems to apply no matter where you look, from black holes to your backyard. The implications of a charge-neutral universe are vast. It suggests that the laws of physics are the same everywhere, a hint that might lead us toward a grand unified theory which seeks to link all fundamental forces of nature into a single framework. In essence, the charge neutrality of the universe isn't just a fact. It's a cornerstone upon which the stability of everything in the cosmos depends. We unraveled the delicate balance of charge neutrality in our universe. But there's another player in this cosmic symphony that we haven't yet discussed. Dark matter. How does this enigmatic substance fit into the picture? Dark matter is a fascinating and mysterious component of our universe. Unlike regular matter, dark matter does not interact with electromagnetic forces. It neither emits nor absorbs light, making it invisible and detectable only through its gravitational effects. Despite its elusive nature, dark matter plays a crucial role in maintaining the large-scale structure of the cosmos, including its charge neutrality. Let's delve into the gravitational influence of dark matter. Imagine dark matter as the hidden scaffolding that holds galaxies together. It provides the necessary gravitational pull to counteract the radiation pressure from normal matter. Without dark matter, galaxies would struggle to form, as electromagnetic forces would dominate, causing the universe to be too smooth and homogeneous. Dark matter's gravitational influence ensures that the universe clumps together in a way that allows for the formation and stability of galaxies, but how does dark matter contribute to charge neutrality? While dark matter itself does not carry a charge, its presence ensures that gravitational force remains the dominant force on cosmic scales. This dominance is crucial because if the universe were not charge neutral, electromagnetic forces would overcome gravitational forces, leading to a completely different cosmic structure. Dark matter acts as a stabilizing force, balancing out any potential charge, imbalances that might arise and maintaining the overall neutrality of the universe. The mystery of dark matter continues to intrigue scientists. It's hypothesized to be made up of particles that are yet to be detected directly. These particles are thought to be heavy and weakly interacting, meaning they do not easily lead to light-producing reactions, thus remaining invisible to our current detection methods. The exact nature of dark matter remains one of the biggest unsolved puzzles in physics. In essence, dark matter is the silent guardian of our universe's structure, ensuring that the delicate balance of charge neutrality is preserved. Its gravitational influence is a testament to the intricate and interconnected nature of the cosmos. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the universe, dark matter remains a key piece of the puzzle, guiding us towards a deeper understanding of the fundamental forces that shape our reality. Let's dive deeper into the distribution of dark matter within galaxies. Dark matter halos. Galaxies are thought to be embedded within extensive halos of dark matter. These halos extend far beyond the visible edges of galaxies, containing the bulk of a galaxy's mass. The presence of these halos is inferred from the gravitational effects they have on the motion of stars and gas in galaxies. 
as well as on the bending of light, known as gravitational lensing, from more distant objects. Rotation curves and dark matter. One of the key pieces of evidence for dark matter comes from the observation of galactic rotation curves. Stars in the outer regions of spiral galaxies rotate at speeds that are not consistent with the visible mass alone. If only normal matter were present, the rotational velocity would decrease with distance from the galactic center. However, observations show that the velocity remains constant or even increases, suggesting the presence of a dark matter halo exerting additional gravitational force. Maximum Entropy Distribution Recent studies suggest that dark matter in galaxies follows a maximum entropy distribution, which implies a state of maximum disorder or thermodynamic equilibrium. This means that the dark matter is distributed in its most probable state, requiring some form of interaction within the dark matter, akin to collisions between gas molecules reaching equilibrium. However, the exact mechanism by which dark matter reaches this state remains a mystery as dark matter particles are thought to interact very weakly. Correlation with luminous matter. Interestingly, there are observed correlations between the properties of dark matter halos and the luminous matter they contain. These correlations suggest a complex but well-ordered scenario where the distribution of dark matter is not random but is related to the properties of the galaxies they envelop. This relationship hints at a possible interaction between dark matter and normal matter over cosmological timescales. Implications for cosmology Understanding the distribution of dark matter in galaxies is crucial for several aspects of cosmology. It affects how we interpret gravitational lensing, the formation and evolution of galaxies, and the search for dark matter particles. 